welcome to another Just Came and with your host Just Came. Now we're here today with the uh, National Deaf Society. I'm just gonna get a little shot of the sign there. Lovely. And have I got both of us in shot there? Uh, Are both of us in shot? I'm gonna tilt it and... Yeah. Are we in it as well, You could all be in it. Yeah. So what we're doing today is so I'm, I'm sitting here with the lovely Marcus. Marcus. That's a pleasure. And he's talking to me today about um, the Deaf Society and their new campaign. And their new campaign is to get um, sign language actually taught in schools. Now to do this, this is actually going to cost this charity twenty million pounds. So. They want to help raise this money through donations and today we're actually going to see me sign up for this. Obviously I am going to cut out the bits where I give over my bank details because I don't want all you vloggers having my bank details. Thank you very much. Um, but over to you Marcus. So Perfect. why is this so important? Um, obviously, well, it's not just the sign language. Uh, we do help with cochlear implants. You heard of them before, yes, right? Yes, I have, yeah. So they're actually not covered by the NHS. They're £35,000 each. Really? I know. Um, so you can imagine if a child is born profoundly deaf, that, uh, that if there's um, that seventy thousand pound is not in the average household to have a front, that's yeah. where a lot of the money goes as well. Um, obviously, we managed to have it passed. You can put the British Sign Language in every single school. It's just a case, of obviously, a teacher retraining, getting it all in. Also, uh, visual books as well to help aid and obviously break down any communication barriers in schools. Which will show you the great is a is a very important course. It is an incredibly yeah, important course. Can I ask? Yeah. Why do you think it's taken so long for this to be recognised? Um, it's a case of obviously with the, the funding of it. Um, obviously with the, with the government being the government, um, they're not very reliable in terms of funding. Um, so it's up to us to do the funding itself. I mean, like I said before, it's taken us 15 years to get to where we are today. Um, really? I know. That's quite a lot of time. To, now I already do donate to the Deaf Society, or I think I still do anyway. I, if there's so many charities out of my bank account, it's hard to keep track. But anyway, I'm going to be donating to this one because this is something that, as you all know, does mean quite a lot to me, as my mother is uh, has only got 20% of a national natural hearing and is classed as clinically deaf, which makes me um, what's called a CODA. Now, if you don't know what a CODA is, a CODA is a child of a deaf adult. And if you do hear any background noise here, I do apologise, there are cars going by. Um, so I'm hoping it's not gonna be affecting the sound too much. If not, put headphones in. Okay, Perfect. so let's get on with this. Let's get Perfect. me signed up for um, this. So we see it's a uh, K and it's spelled with a K. K-A-I-N. Okay, okay, cool. Hi there. Uh, your surname, please, Kane. Baker. Thank you very much. Your postcode, please, mate. I'm going to have to, I will, I will be putting that bit there. Thank you. Uh, obviously, you, get, you only get one phone call a year. We're a charity. We're not going to bombard you and use your uh, donation. So what time of the day would you prefer to be contacted? Um, after six is always best because I do work full time. No worries at all. Have you got an email address, please, Kane? Yeah, it's... Uh, 1978. Keep that under your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now this is just one of the uh, magazines that you'll get. You get around four of these a year, okay? okay. Just goes through uh, who you're helping, where your money's going. Say for example, for the cochlear implant, like I mentioned yeah. earlier, right? I am sure you'll see that you can give them a read as and when you'd like. Obviously, yeah, with data protection, we're never going to pass anything on to any third mark, third party people. Uh, anything that's discussed the data between me, you, and obviously the vlog itself and also the charity. Um, so that's perfect. I'll drop you down for these. Like I said, we don't, we're not going to bombard you with anything. Um, data protection is obviously very high. Uh, it's one of our priorities as well. And uh, also you mentioned your mum is hard of hearing as well. Yeah. And I'm assuming you pay tax, can you? I do, yeah. Perfect. You heard of gift aid, right? I do, yeah. Perfect. I've heard of gift aid. There you go. And just for those of you that don't know what gift aid is, Gift aid is when you tick that gift aid box, it means, if I'm right in saying, the tax that is paid on that my donation also goes to the charity. Yes. So that's right. So if you see a gift aid box on a charity form, always tick it. Uh, if I can just get your... Uh, if I can just get your squiggle in the top there with your fingertips. Is that a Yeah. Thank you very much. 
Uh, this next bit is just sales here. I am a paid professional fundraiser. Mm -hmm. I see yeah, absolutely that. nothing of your donation. Everything that you give does go straight to the charity. I'm paid from a pre-allocated government budget that was set back in 2015 when we finally had it passed. Okay. Uh, just obviously, and I look like my picture, uh, just to confirm that. Yeah, you do. Perfect, thank you very much. Here you go. <laughs> uh, so the PFS, the Personal Fundraiser Services, have put 4.2 million into the charity so far in the hope of and anticipating they get 7.5 million by the end of the year That's by nice. uh, obviously pestering lovely people like themselves. So I do appreciate that, King. Uh, if I could just get your signature again, uh, please. There you go. Thank you very much. There we are. It's with us, That's all right, no worries at all. Uh, and you've got your bank card. Oh, you need to say you haven't got it, but you don't need to. I know. Perfect. Have I take the name on the card? Yeah, it's Mr. Kane A. Baker. Thank you. And are uh, they treating you well? I've been with them for 20 years, so I can't complain. Saving you millions? Not really. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, with a direct debit uh, guarantee, mm -hmm. you're never going to pay more than what you've signed up for today. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, as well. Is that still recording? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, anything that obviously, um, so direct debit as well, you'll get a pack within 10 working days, it'll mm -hmm. outline when it's going to start. By all means, you can change that to fit around other outgoings if that's what you'd like to do. Okay. Obviously, it's in your complete control, okay? Uh, if I could just get your signature over here, I'll just put it this way again. Your third and final signature there, Kane. There we are. Thank you very much. Perfect. Now that is complete. So, uh, yeah. welcome to the team again. What thank we, you very much. So, right, and what, thank you. Yes, thank you. What we're going to do now, Kate, is just a very, very quick verification call just to make yeah. sure that I've not found your card and sort of made up your details. It's going to ring on that. No, no, it's on the on oh. our phone. <laughs> don't worry. I'll use my phone. So, don't ring my number, it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just to say that obviously I'll treat you fairly. I've not yeah. got you in a headlock and made you do this. Obviously, yeah. you've done it out of the goodness of your own heart, so I do He's appreciate that. He's a good looking man, I wouldn't mind if he's doing it. My, job, and my daughter's probably the same age as them, so it uh, would be totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if I can just uh, get Jack's phone, what I'll do. Uh, so, what they'll ask you is who I am, Marcus. Yeah. Uh, the amount you donate, which is £10. Mm -hmm. where, um, we where we are, which is yeah. true. Oh. So, it's uh, later on that day. I'm now in my dressing gown. I've just got home, so do apologise. Um, so I've finished signing up for the uh, the children's na the National Deaf Children's Society, and when I've signed up, they gave me this lovely little pack, um, which is got all sorts. It's got something in it, and I haven't actually opened it until now. So let's open this up and let's have a look to see what they've got in it, what it's got inside of it. So it's got my donation so you can see my donation that's there and it also comes with this fantastic little information booklet and um, some of the information on this is that um, I'll be helping deaf children who, who need us who need us to donate um, and thanks to supporters like me, we've, they've helped a little girl called Ruby and her family from the life-changing moment her deafness was diagnosed right through to her first day at school. And with our help, we will continue to be there for children like Ruby and the future it brings. Every week, 34 children are born deaf in the UK and the barriers that hold them back can be huge. Bullied because they're different, missing out on their fun with their friends, feeling left out and alone. But it doesn't have to be this way. Together, we can stop deaf children from being treated unfairly. And make sure they have the same opportunities as everyone else. So that's nice. I'm really actually quite glad I did that because... When my mum became deaf all them years ago, there was nothing like this around. And um, talking to my mum, she's always said that she's felt very lonely um, as a child. Because there was so much she couldn't do. And uh, she, although my mum wasn't completely deaf, you know, there were certain sounds that my mum never heard. You know, and... 
when she finally got her hearing aid, 20 years later, there were so many sounds that she had to get used to it gradually. She couldn't just go straight in with the hearing aid. The sound had to be turned up gradually to enable my mum to hear better. Because there were things like the, the sound of the fridge freezer. We would take that for granted, the sound of our fridge freezers. My mum had never heard it. She didn't know that it made that sound. She didn't know that the that water made a sound when it was boiling. And one of the one of the things that she loved, and she still loves even to this day with her hearing aid, with her hearing aid, is the sound of leaves crunching under her feet. It's such a simple sound that we all take for granted. These children that are deaf or need cochlear implants or are partially deaf, they're in the same boat. They're never going to hear grass crunching under their feet. They're never going to hear the sound of a fridge freezer or water boiling, sounds that every day we take for granted. But with our help, we can make life for these children so much easier and so much better with the cochlear implants enabling children to hear and those children be more included in the world because sign language is getting taught in schools as you know as it should be i'm hoping for one day there to be a whole generation of children that grow up knowing how to sign as well as to speak so no deaf child turns into a lonely deaf adult and I think that's the important message that this charity is all about and I think that's what they're fighting for and that's what we are fighting for and I am very proud to be donating simply £10 every month to this charity because I know it will make a difference to children like Ruby so they don't turn into adults like my mum so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and throughout this video I'm going to try and get the website for the National Deaf Society up there so if you go along to their web page I'm sure there'll be links on there for you to go and donate. I urge all of my viewers to donate to this cause to, the, to this cause because in my eyes let no child be left behind let no child have to grow up alone in a lonely world and let's give some of those children the chance to hear the simple sound of leaves crunching under their feet so um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram follow me on Twitter um, don't forget to go like and go subscribe um, it is free to do that honestly it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and it really helps me out give this go and smash the like button and let's see if we can get this video to its record numbers ever because i really want to see this video go viral because i want it to hit the whole world so remember what i always say guys don't dream it be it life is yours to make peace and I'll see you in the next vlog.